2020 was a lot of things, but for the National Honey Board, it was a year of driving demand. Reminding consumers that honey is good for me and good for the planet. We expanded our Celebrating Beekeepers video series with inspiring beekeepers who are making a positive impact on the environment and the communities they serve. The videos were promoted to our target audiences, from consumers to food professionals, garnering nearly 250 million impressions. National Honey Month provided us the perfect opportunity to communicate how honey saves hives. Our Honey Saves Hives campaign created buzz through national partnerships and key influencers, earning over 140 million impressions with top-tier media. Our in-store and online shopper promotions received nearly 7 million impressions, educating shoppers on the vital importance of bees to our ecosystem and our food supply. We increased our advertising reach, delivering over 4 million impressions to the influential healthcare professional audience, reminding them that choosing honey is good for their clients, the planet, and themselves. As part of our advertising campaign, we put honey front and center as a sustainable, culinary-inspired choice for a healthy lifestyle. With more than 250 million impressions, we showed our target audience how honey, the planet, and healthy eating are a winning combination. To keep ourselves in the conversation with food and beverage manufacturers, we delivered 840,000 impressions through leading publications and direct outreach to our top 250 targets. To spark and keep the interest of food service operators, we provided culinary and pollinator inspiration, delivering our message from multiple angles and earning top-tier impressions. Like a lot of the world, we went virtual, hosting events that engaged key industry partners and influencers. Like our virtual honey summits, we hosted 21 with nearly 500 attendees from some of the world's largest food and beverage companies. This year's Honey Industry Summit had the greatest attendance in the history of the event, with 100% of attendees stating that the summit will help them sell more honey. Our Menus of Change sponsorship reached over 700 key chefs, food operators, and culinary influencers. As part of our sponsorship, we hosted two expo sessions. Danielle Downey of Project Apis M educated on the state of our honeybees and their importance to our food system. Chef and beekeeper Jamie Simpson delivered an inspired pollinator cooking demo. We may have been quarantined, but our message was not. We launched the Factor Factory campaign that distinguishes honey from other all-natural sweeteners, communicating that honey is just honey crafted by bees. Our digital and direct outreach campaigns to large food and beverage manufacturers garnered over 1 million impressions and more than 5,000 direct contacts were made. The National Honey Board has been, and continues to be, committed to ongoing honey research. In 2020, we invested nearly $1 million and gathered key insights from more than 10 different studies, including consumer attitudes and awareness, new honey product introductions, honey menu tracking and trends, bee health research, and ongoing nutrition research. We learned a lot along the way, like this exciting news. In 2020, honey secured the number one preferred sweetener spot, overtaking sugar for the first time ever. It's been a big year for honey, for beekeepers, for bees, for all of us. Here's to building on it for an even bigger 2021.